What's up guys and gals and welcome to an episode of Carried Away, a little game we're going to be giving our first impressions on here today at the Nerd Castle. This is a game about, it's a basically a physically, uh, it's a physics based game about getting skiers to the top of a mountain without them all falling catastrophically and dying. So anyways, this is my first impressions. Let's jump into the campaign and let's start this thing on off. Let's do it. It looks like we're on what looks like maybe the first part right here. Let's play. Is it this one right here? Roping you in. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's see how good I can be at building ski lifts. Welcome to Rookie Mountains. My name's Jimmy, and I'm going to teach you the lost art of chairlift construction. Let's get going. My last apprentice built this chairlift, but he's uh, no longer... I thought he was going to say he was special, but nope. He's no longer with us. He's dead as hell. We're going to need some wheels to support the rope, so let's grab a wheel material right here. There it is. Okay. And so now, we got to do a rope handle and drag it to the chairlift station. It will go green when it is connected. Okay, I will drag you to here. Maybe you go up here. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Okay, so that looks like it's good to go. We've locked that in. Does it have to rest on top? Oh, it has to rest. Uh-oh. I think I broke it. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, so the ropes get pulled. Gotcha. I know how a chairlift works. Time to test this rider. Get a rider to finish flags. Dude, that'd be the worst job ever. You gotta be the first person to test this thing. I've seen people fall off the ski lift before. I don't think it's ever killed them when I've seen it. Like, they fall and they're just like, pluff. And then they like are like, ow. But they seem to be alright. I mean, I guess it depends how much ice and powder is down there. I don't know. I don't, I don't ski much. I tend to stay away from dangerous activities. Right, we can look around. Oh my god, we can rotate. Oh, we can look at stuff in three dimensions, too. Oh my god, we got a ski lifter up. What does that mean? A force indicator. Uh-oh, they're making physics get involved. I'm going to be bad at this. I can tell already. Oh, I am not going to be good at this. Success! We are the winner to the next level. Let's do this thing. I think we can handle this. Thanks for our planks for playing. All right, we're going to get a feel for how all this works. All right. So what a relief. You've made it further than my last apprentice. You're going to need to construct a tower over that tree. We've got some old blueprints you can use. So we've got a plank right here. And it looks like you can put up planking to those. Oh, you got to make a support structure. Gotcha. I don't trust this for shit, but... Oh, you extend it out from the middle. Okay. This seems marginally dangerous. And then we can attach a wheel to there and a wheel to there. Oh, you got to go up over the tree. Gotcha. So we go up and over the rope right there. And then let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Did we win? Am I good at this or have I murdered people already? See, I felt the same way about Airport CEO. Where it was like, you might not want to give me control of any activity that might result in the loss of human life if it goes wrong. I just, I got really bad, like, ADD. I can't focus on stuff good. And focusing on things is not my skill, and when it comes to, like, saving human lives, focus seems like an important thing. What the shit is this? Yeah, that thing looks awful. Why are we putting wheels on it, though? We probably should not be putting wheels on this bus. Let's pretend like that's not gonna happen. And so do I drag that over there? Click on, oh yeah, I gotta do the planky node. There we go. So we got to click on a node. Oh, right click on a node. Oh, we can fix nodes too. Okay, that's what I get for not being good at reading. Oh, we can fix nodes too so that we can save ourselves some money. Okay, and there's another tree right there, so that's going to have to connect kind of high. So we'll take that up to there, up to there. It's telling me where to put this, but like... And so apparently it doesn't look right. It's building at an angle. I got hungry and ate the blueprint, so you're going to have to build this one on your own. Use a space bar to go between builder and simulation modes if you don't succeed the first time. And then one last thing, you can select your towers using the selection tool. Okay. Well, then I suppose we'll take this one on up. Like so. I would say we should probably have a cross beam, right? Oh, it's not going to reach. Well, that's upsetting. Well, then I'm going to do something that's super jank right here, but I don't feel good about the structural integrity of all this. And so I'll take that up to, like... It's got to get over that tree. That looks okay. Although I think we're still going to have to take it up a little bit higher. Because that tree right there is not playing around. That tree looks like it's out for blood. That's a bloodthirsty tree if I've ever seen one, okay? Some trees are peaceful. Some trees want your blood. And so we'll go, like, put a wheel right there and a wheel right there. And then we will take this line. It'll go over there, over there, 
and then back down to there and we'll see how this handles the force that one might be sketchy right there but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens I mean our force multiplier I think when it hits hundred percent we probably something bad happens would be my guess did it work oh please don't die I don't want blood on my hands today it just barely worked it just barely worked you can see it happening over here but uh my guess is the majority of the uh, sketchiness we might need to do see we don't have foundations though and so you can actually see little guys skiing down in the background too that's pretty fun and so it looks like we managed to get people up here i i don't trust the structural integrity of this thing much but hey you know as long as the health inspector and all those guys don't look at it too hard i'm sure it'll be fine maybe things won't go wrong so right here, hi, I'm Carrie. I've taught just about everybody around here to ski. It's not easy, but with my help, you can conquer the slopes in no time. The skier has encountered an obstacle on the way down. They crash down low on the approach, then stand up before the rock to leap over it. Jump early or too late, and you're going to have a bad time. So crouching and standing up. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do this thing. I'm controlling the skier. Oh, I am controlling the skier. Okay. Oh, no! He made it, though. I mean, probably with some leg injuries, but he made it. I'd like to clear that a little bit better, but I guess I didn't jump it very well. Can I do it again? Can I go again? Get all the required riders passed? Can I Can I try one more time? Like, what if I want to go again? Like, because I feel like I could do better at this. Is there not, like, a redo? Complete the level without killing anyone? That went 0 to 100 real fast. So, apparently, I've got to handle both the skiing skills and also... So you can view our objectives and our achievements up here. So there it is. There's medals and stuff. You only need to get the objectives to pass the level, but you get medals for completing achievements. Time to build some towers. Triangles are strong. Okay, so squares are weak. Triangles are strong. That's apparently what they're trying to tell me right now. So I'm going to go like this. And then we'll take this up. Like so. We've just got to clear that tree right there. I think I've already messed this up, but uh, we'll make a triangle right there. We've got another foundation over here, so he's got to get over the rocks. So let's take this up. I like the music, though. The music's good. I'm enjoying the music. That looks high enough right there. We'll give it a try, and we'll see what happens. So there's our wheels right there. Wheels keep on turning, turning, turning into some skiers. Skiers fly, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, no! That went wrong really quickly. Wow, that thing fell down with a quickness. Oh, no, dead skier. Blood came out of his face. Is he alive? Oh, he looks a little limp. I don't think he's going to make it. So they hit a tree. They also hit a rock. I don't think I'm very good at this. I think we probably need to... Uh, I think we probably need to... to probably need to fix this tower right here it was probably not my best level that I've ever done is there a restart the level thing over here there should really be a restart the level button somewhere like really obvious I think oh they're going down that black diamond hill over there black diamonds aren't that bad though it's just like you should definitely have like moderate knowledge of skiing like people always act like black diamonds and whatnot are hella terrifying there are a few that I've seen that were really nasty we're just like oh good lord like, I've seen some that are like sheer drop-ins and whatnot, and I have done those sheer drop-ins, but I did not enjoy it. Not at all. I don't think people want to come here anymore. Oh, I thought that reset the entire tutorial, so that is the reset button. All right, cool. Yep, I've already done that. Yep, thank you very much. I will try to do better with my towers this time. So we'll do something like that this time around. I don't know if that's going to clear. So if I wanted to do preview mode... Okay. I just want to see if that holds. So for right now, is that going to break or is that going to make it? It looks like that's just too much for him. It looks like that's just too much. So it looks like that's the structurally weak point, I guess. What if I swing it out ever so slightly? 
No, still didn't. It looks like it helped out a little bit. So it looks like that's our weak point now. Is that still the weak point right there? Oh, he almost made it. So that's still the weak point right there. That needs to be reinforced. So it's possible... No, I don't want that there. I don't want that there at all. Make that go away. Make that go away. Trash bin it. Alright, so what I need to do then... Is we'll try and isolate the weak points here. Using preview mode. And then it's entirely plausible. So let me run that over to there. We'll run that to there. Well, he made it, but he hit a tree a little bit. We don't really have a good release point, right? That counted? Really, that counted. I'm really surprised that that counted. What were my objectives? So the medals, make it without killing any riders, beat it without any breakages. See, I'm thinking it's the upward pull that was causing the problem right there. But you only really need to get them to, like, right there. But they're not clearing that tree, and that bothers me. I want them to clear that tree. I feel bad that they're not clearing that tree. Let me try again. I can do this better. I'm a perfectionist on this stuff. Like, I want this to go well. And I don't want to kill people. And really, I feel like that's kind of the foundation of good business, in all honesty. Not killing people is great. See, so I'm sort of wondering, if we put, like, a central structure right there, will that help out a little bit? I'm not an engineer, I'm a geologist. I deal with like the theoretical aspects of things, not how they actually work. That's not what I do. So, let's put that in right there. We'll preview it. No, it's still breaking right there. It's just too tall. It's just too tall. And I don't think we have the things that we need in order to make that work. Like in order to reinforce this little dude right here, So we put a crossbar right there. Put a crossbar right there. We have that go out to there. That might help redistribute ever so slightly. Because that's all that we didn't have on the last one. And so the more triangles we have, the better I feel about this. Because that's what the game said. The game said triangles are strong. And I want to have strong triangles. And so there's our run. Ooh, he made it. Surprisingly enough, he made it. I didn't think they were going to make that one, but it's like one of those things where... Like I said, not an engineer. Not an engineer. Oh, you can double cross beam it too. Well, that might be a good idea. I don't know. My career as like a ski lift creator slash... Maybe it's because all the weight is distributed on that front wheel right there. I'm thinking that's what it is. And I've just messed that up horrifically. Although we're not going to be able to get the second wheel up there if we do it like that. And so that wheel... Well, don't delete the whole thing. Um, Selection tool. There we go. And then I want you to go away. And then maybe what we might be able to do over here... Is go like one higher take the stress of the line off of it let's try it oof looks a little iffy right there but it held it held it's really just the lift of the whole thing that I think that's causing the problem and so we did no breakages Completed the level with inside the budget, and we got medals. Yay, all of the medals for us. I like medals. I would wear them on my shirt and be like, clankety, clankety, and walk around town. And people are like, damn, that boy got himself. You can build a jump to help the skiers down the mountain. We can build jumps just about anywhere. Okay, move and zoom the camera to focus. Select the jump and put it inside the yellow circle. Okay. So we need a jump right here. That doesn't seem like a jump that's going to make it. And then what is that, a support? Supports whole- oh, those go to the ground. Okay, that makes sense. I like how there's like multiple aspects of the game though that go into this. Like you get to build the lifts, but you also... 
you also get to build like the random little jumps and things that people get to go off of. And so I'm gonna, here we go, we're gonna do this thing. Duck. Jump! Oh, that air though! That guy got hyped. That dude got up there. That dude barely cleared it though. I was a little worried about his life. I was a little bit concerned he wasn't gonna make it. I, getting air like that, man. When I was a young man, I enjoyed skateboarding. I'd be up in the bowl getting all kinds of air. Nowadays I see that stuff and I'm like, good lord, you about to die. Uh, the skiers missed a star. You get an extra medal if you can collect it for me. Build the jump taller or steeper. Where's the star at? What star did they miss? They didn't miss a star. They got the star that was over there. What? I know I got that star. I saw it because it went clang and he caught the star. I don't see a star over here. This game. This game's messing with me. I think this game's lying. I think this game's trifling. Save your money. Skiers can get extra height in a well-timed jump crouch during the approach. And then I can also lean forward, too. All right. Let's do this thing. I'm going to lean forward on this one. Yup. There it is. Boom! Oh, I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, he might be dead. He might be dead. And then that dude didn't make it at all. I think my skis... I think my ramp collapsed over here. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like the ramp may have collapsed on us. And so that's the spot right there that was causing problems. Alright, we'll take that down then. And then maybe take that over to there, possibly. Although I don't even know if that's going to help. Yes, connect that to the wall of the stones. I'm sure everything will be okay. Oh, we got it. And he didn't die. And he didn't die. And that person just barely cleared that rock by, like, centimeters. But, like, oh, that person survived. But I don't think his ankles are going to be in good shape. He may need to see a doctor after this. May need to see a doctor. So we got the log and the rope over here. Let's go ahead and play it and see what we got going on. I bet we can make this happen. Let's keep this cracking. There's more chairlifts than planks and wheels. Rope and logs can be useful. They have different properties to planks. Logs are stronger and heavier and more expensive. Okay, so it wants me to do that right there. And then chains. Rope is strong and cheap and is good at holding tension, but useless in compression. Great in some situations. So compression versus tension. So tension is the rope being pulled tight, right? But compression is maybe it being smushed together or something? I don't know. Oh, this seems uber dubious. That seems dubious AF. There's no way this works. That looks super sketchy. Like, what is that even... What is that even mounted on? That's mounted on nothing. It's mounted on nothingness. Yeah, they're turning yellow kind of quick right now. I'm not holding out a lot of hope for that guy right there. Like, why can't we just build this all out of steel? Like, why we gotta use wooden stuff? I feel like using steel would be a better choice for this. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's the only materials we have available, but I don't trust trees with my life. We have not treated, as a people, we have not treated trees well since the dawn of humanity. So I don't really expect them to take care of us. Yay. Another victory for us. Success. Oh my good sweet lord. All right, let's get into the real game here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we got going on. So this one's nice and simple. I don't think this one's going to take a lot of effort. Nor a lot of tools, in all honesty. Nor a lot of tools. I don't know if that one's actually connected right there, but I suppose we'll find out when the simulation runs. And that's not going to reach because I went too high because I'm a nub. We don't really need a whole lot to this one, so we'll just go ban- Oh, we're over budget. Okay, maybe I should just do it with one wheel then. I mean, frankly, I could probably just bend the whole thing. So we have to complete the level inside of the budget. $1,000, okay. There we go. Uh, we've got- We've got enough. We can make this happen. Let's just keep it nice and small here. I don't think I need to reinforce that too much further. So put in a wheel right there, a wheel right there. And that should be, I mean, we don't even need that wheel right there. That wheel is kind of ancillary, isn't it? It's a little bit tertiary. I don't think it's even making a connection, so... 
clear it. I would like to clear that wheel. There we go. Sure, run the sim. See what happens here. Looks good. I think we're solid. We're inside of the budget, and it appears to be... Oh, but the slack from the skier is going to pull it down. So the other wheel might have been helpful right there, so it's not putting all of its weight on those front, on those front beams. Yeah. I'll think about it. Uh, I think we could have done this. I think I didn't count for the, the rope actually flexing downwards and carrying the weight. So something to think about for later. All right. Uh, roll with it. Let's do this thing. Let's see what's going on with this next one. So on this side, we've got a number of support structures right there. We can't use logs, though. So that's going to be funsies. Those don't reach each other. I don't know if that's a good idea. What's our budget? 3,000? Okay. So we got a tree right there. So this is actually going to have to go up a decent height. But what really matters is whether or not this one goes up right here. I think I might make a support structure over here or something. Like that. Maybe to help out. We'll have to simulate it, because I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Let's put on the two wheels right here. And we know what's going to happen right there. But let's turn on the simulation and just make sure that this runs the first part. And if it ends up failing and falling apart, then... That actually looks pretty safe. Yeah, that's what I was wondering was going to happen. Is just if that second wheel was going to get any play right there. And it does, briefly, when somebody's in the middle... Of the rope right there. That guy got killed and fell off. Okay, cool. So we're going to need to make this a little bit higher so that it goes up a little bit taller. But doing that is going to increase the strain on that wheel right there. And so my thought is we put a second wheel in right here. So let's say we take this up, right? And we go up a little bit higher. And we put a second wheel right there. Then we're going to detach that. Go all the way around. Can I make them do flips? What happens if they do a flip? I gotta find out now. This is gonna be amazing. Engineering with splat. What's gonna happen to this dude? No! The whole thing fell apart. And then we lost our breakages bonus, I think, too. Alright, so that idea is probably not gonna work. Let's maybe just kind of ease back off that one for right now. I think the majority of the structure is gonna have to go through here. And let me guess, that ain't gonna reach, right? Yeah, that's about what I figured. And so we'll make a triangle like so. And I'm thinking the majority of our height... Can I anchor that anywhere, though? See, I feel like the anchor points, we're getting a little far. And a lot of stress is going to be on that right there. And also this little connection right here. I'm a little bit worried about how this is going to work, but... We'll wait and see on this one. My guess, though, is that this is going to fall apart horrifically. That's my guess. Let's take you out. We'll go up and over the top. And that looks about right to me. Let's sim it. Worst case is that bulge right there is not going to be good. I may be able to pull that back in, but actually it looks like it's staying pretty structurally sound. And we got the star, so... Yeah, buddy. Looks good to me. Let it run. We managed to pull that one through. We're under budget. We got the star, and frankly, nothing's gone up into orange. I mean, it's all stayed in the yellow, so I can live with that. That feels all right to me. That feels like something that I'm more than capable of just, like, sticking with. Um, we can go up the mountain, or we can go off to this side. Let's do another one. I'm going to do the green run. And so with the green run, this one's kind of a curious one. Kind of interesting. Uh, we've also got a jump. Why do we have a jump? Why is a jump important right here? Is there something I can do with the jump? It doesn't look like there's anything worth jumping for. Huh. Curious. Why do we have jump pads available? Uh, 
Well, I don't see anything. I mean, technically, I guess I could put a jump over here. Like, launch some cats up into the ocean. I don't know. Although, they gotta get up some speed first. Like, how are they not gonna... There we go. There we go. Let's get some cats aerial here. Let's do this thing. Uh-oh. Um, use the triangle, dude. It's definitely going to fail right there. I don't see a lot of ways that that's going to make it. All right, cool. Well, that cost us 150 bucks to murder a guy. Sounds good to me. So let's get the other parts of this put together. So we've got some buildy things over here that we can do. My guess is that that's probably the temptation that they want you to succumb to right there. That's my guess, is that they want you to do this. And if they want me to do it, chances are it's probably dangerous. Hmm. I mean, we'll test it out. It's no biggie. So a couple of people die or whatever. I don't think that's going to reach over to there, but that will. Um. Yeah, just keep it going. Keep it trucking. I'm going to do something real lightweight for right now. We'll add that right there to sort of, I don't know, take some kind of stress off this thing. It looks about right right there. Let's take it up by one more. And really, it just wants us to get the star. I don't even think we have a budget on this one, so... Put it right there, and we'll see if that gets the star. It might be a good idea. They're going to have to go downwards right there pretty hard, so I'm going to put in a second wheel. Oh, the pull force on this thing is going to be absurd. All right, test it out. Let's wait and see if this thing fails. It did indeed, and it failed from the top. Okay. Let me see the exact spot it failed from right there. So what that says to me... Okay. Failed even quicker that time, so it's not that vector that matters. Let's try that. I'm still thinking it's just the... Got a little farther that time. That time it was that that failed, so there we go. Now we're starting to get to the root of the problem. Uh, let's reinforce this right here. Although that is not a triangle. There we go. Triangles are strong. Oh. It's actually taller than it needs to be. It's taller than it needs to be. So that might help out as well if I can bring this down to like right here. That actually made it a little bit more structurally sound, too. We were cruising in the 80s pretty heavily on that last go, and now we're kind of like mid-70s, low 80s. So it saved us a little bit. That front beam right there is a little worrisome. But since we can't put cross ties on the front of it, like on this side right here, I don't think. Can we? I should try that out in the next level. I'm going to try and put cross beams over here, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Pretty cool little game, though. Pretty cool little game. It's called Carried Away. If you wanted to get it for yourself, I got it down in the description. Fun little physics-based game. A good little time waster. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day here on the internet. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye, everybody.